for our second lesson. Uh, I'm teacher Mwongi once again. Uh, last time we're having a look at uh, handwriting. It's what you're going to have a look at today as we're going to have a practice of how a good handwriting is supposed to be, like we did last time. But today we're going to have a lot of practice to see that at least all of us at home are good handwriting. Uh, beautiful and uh, you know a neat handwriting. Remember, Fred, if you're to review, we had a look at uh, the different categories of letters. We see we have the, uh, uh, the middle case letters, we have the lower case letters, and uh, the upper case letters. When you look at the category of the middle case letters, we have this as we see we have A, C, E, I, M, N, O, R, S, U, V, W, X, Z. And uh, when we go to the workers letters, we have Y, G, P, Q, J, and upper case letters, we have B, D, F, H, K, L, T. So those are the different categories of letters that you normally use when writing. Once you follow that, that makes your handwriting quite beautiful or very interesting. Remember, when you look at handwriting, writing story as a topic, it's among the other. Uh, the skills of language, especially English, we have in look at. Uh, so we will have look at various letters and various words that uh, we can write, how we can write them following that. But as I'm writing, I expect you as my student to be following, seeing, telling, identifying the different categories of letters we are writing. Now let's have a look at some of these words here. For example, we can have this word basket. So the word basket we shall see basket, we have this B, sorry. That one is uppercase letter. We have letter A is the middle case letter. We have S, it is a middle case letter. Then we have K, it goes up, stretches upwards. So we have K as an as a uppercase letter, then we have E middle case letter and T stretches upwards it's uh, uppercase and uppercase letter now we look at that word that was basket we say that some of the features we have to follow one make sure that uh, we have equal spacing my spacing is quite neat it looks well because the fact that uh, we all of them have the same kind of spacing two when you look at the word the letters I have written down all the letters are seated on the line. We don't have any word which is uh, any letter which is uh, uh, seated in space, but all of them are sitting on the on the line. Then look at the, the size of my letters. When you look at the size of my letters, uppercase letters, all of them stretch up to the upper line. It means that they are the same height. Then look at the middle case letters. All of them are of that size. There. Normally, at times, if you try to draw a line there. We find that time you should bring that. So we find that all middle case letters are of the same size, uh, upper case letters are the same size. Now what's missing there, we don't have any letter which is under the category of lower case, lower case letter. But let's have another word. Then how do you look, look at the word girl? The word girl, I'll have G, I make this boy here. Then the, the G has to stretch up to the lower line. Then the middle case letter I is a middle case letter. We have R. L goes and stretches up the upper line. So now that is the word girl. So the word girl we have G stretching going down, lowercase. I and R are their middle case letters, and L stretches upwards. So I'm trying to follow the category of letters we are supposed to write. Let us have a look at the word all fat. I expect whoever is watching. Will be identifying, telling silently the category of letters you're writing. Look at this word all right. We have E as a middle case letter. We have L goes stretching upwards. It is an uh, uppercase letter. We have E that P is a lowercase letter. Okay. Yes. Uh, H uppercase letter. A is a middle case letter, and uh, N is a middle case letter, and T is an upper case letter. So, if I let uh, 
that why it is read as orphaned. But we are trying to follow the, uh, the order and the, the features which make Android to look good. Look at the spacing. Many people make mistakes, for example, if you write this word here, for example, write E in space, you write L sit in the line, then write E here sit on the line, P, many people make a mistake here, they write this, and they do that, then H, someone does that, A writes that, that. Now, we that that order is wrong. This handwriting is incorrect, it's poor. Why? But one of the mistakes which are there is one, we look at E is in space. Two, uh, look at P. This one, this ball, has to sit on the, on the line. But before one, it was not sitting on the line, which takes the right to be wrong. Look at H, uh, H as if it's a middle case letter, yet it has straight upwards. A is sitting in the line, and even far taller than, than H. Look at A. So the letters are not of the same size. So this one makes the rating to be poor uh, and wrong. So we need to have to, have to see how we can improve our rate for the status. We are looking at the status. Look at this other word, book. The word book, we shall have B, straight from upwards, then O, another O, middle case data, then K goes up. That is the word book. That one makes that right look so nice. Let me have this. The boy. The boy. And the girl. Now, when we look at this one here, we should find that the handwriting is good because we have T and H straight upwards, B straight up as upper case letter, E here is a middle case letter, O is a middle case letter. Now, you should find that all middle case letters have the same size. Upper case letters have the same size, and even middle case letters are of the same size. If you don't stretch up, the, up this line, lower line, and if you decide to make it, for example, the white boy, you do like that, that, you stop it there. Though you have to trace up to the wrong line, but I'll make it this girl, for example, if I'm not going to girl, that, it's also be of that size, that, that, then the L, uppercase, like that, to, to read the size of this one here. So you know that all letters have the same shape, uh, same size, sit on the line, that one makes that rating to be nice and so neat. So my friend, if you are watching me, please, I beg that uh, you try to make a practice of that. Make sure that people are for playing with your fingers. Last time we talked about the triple line and right where by using the three fingers, I explained that. If you're using another side, you know, please, friend, it's still fine. So long as you are following the different categories of, of letters. Let me hope that you've learned the different level categories of letters. And please, you can try to make uh, 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 a lot of practice to see that you also become perfect in your handwriting. This, that's what I expect from you. So we expect that uh, in our next lesson, we shall have a look at uh, the, the, the different uh, tools we can use while writing these letters. Let us have tools we normally use while writing them. I expect that from you. Uh, you expect that from me next time as you subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, 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 our, our, our YouTube channel uh, in the names or the name of uh, teacher Munge Hamza. Make sure they subscribe. Uh, it's a teacher. Munge. Remember, we say the product two letters and upper case letters. Munge Hamza. We say that all capital letters stretch upwards, they are capital, they are capital letters. So this one M, though it's a middle case letter, it's small letter, but there it becomes a capital So teacher Mungamsa is where I see my, it's the name for the YouTube channel that you can subscribe. Don't forget to follow all what I have said. The next time, hoping that uh, you have made enough practice and we shall meet again when most of us are improved. Thanks so much for attending our lesson.